And now she's looking to go top rope. High risk. Drop from the top. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Blast off. Dives. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Bianca's looking weak in the knees. Could spell trouble. At the arm. She gets away. Bam! What a slap. Uh -uh. Sent into the corner. <laughs> Belair gets countered. Loving blow. Haymaker connects. Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. Bianca here in a disheartening position. She'll need some serious recovery time after this. This has just been an absolute massacre. Just asserting her dominance, that's all. Let's see what she can do. Ladies and gentlemen, the first ever Queen of the Ring tournament has all led to this dramatic conclusion. WWE's self-proclaimed queen is defending her crown against the superstar who is limping into the finals courtesy of an attack from none other than her opponent, Charlotte Flair. Only one of these two superstars can walk or limp out of this match as official WWE royalty. My advice for the challenger, if you come at the queen, you best not miss. Well scattered reversal there. What grace, float over to the DDT. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. An overbearing assault on Charlotte now. Charlotte needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Dark matter. Cover. The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. In control here with a swinging neck. She's going for it. Kick out just before two. Amazing effort by her. Right across the face. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. 
And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. From the top. Are you kidding me? Stomping. Ouch. Well scouted by Charlotte. And she's stunned in the corner. Wait a second. Setting her up for... No, this is... She can't do this. No way. Byron, very few people have done this. Are you kidding me? There is way too much distance to cover here. Coast to coast! She nailed it! tonight. Just a gutsy performance overall. And this has to be a major blow to Charlotte's ego. The self-proclaimed queen now has to share the title with someone who beat her for it in the middle of the ring. Charlotte's feelings aside, what a night for our new queen of the ring. The results are in. My Women Who Fight listeners voted for worst attitude in WWE, and you came out on top. Only problem is, so did Bailey and Nia. It was a three-way tie. But we prefer clean finishes on my podcast. Any chance you'd be willing to settle this? The results are in. My Women...
She's in a fighting mood tonight. And with that, the countdown has officially begun. The Women's Intercontinental Champion is not one but two opponents tonight. Odyssey Rift and Father Time. You know the rules of a beat the clock challenge, people. The math is easy. The champion has to beat Odyssey Rift faster than Bianca Belair's five minutes. Otherwise, Bianca Belair can say she's the fastest in WWE. Oh, impressive counter. in the corner. Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, my God. Oh. Expected that one. Shoulder tackle. Russian leg sweep. Really just laying it in. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Going after the arm. Fujiwara arm bar. Incredible pressure. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. She's got an answer for that. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Distress showing on the face of Rift. Wedge has to weather a storm here. She thinks she has it, and the rope save her there. Good timing with that reversal. Uh-oh, she scores big with the counter. Considered cold, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Sight set on the top rope. High risk. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Rift is really falling behind. Wedge has to weather a storm here. Oh, back elbow. And responds with a counter of their own. The finishing touches could be coming Rift's way here. Got the arm. Nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. She's climbing to the top turnbuckle. High risk. And the, from the top. And the momentum's clearly gotten away from her now. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. <laughs> Evading offense. Counters that. But she has to push. Now the window's open. Turns it right around with a counter. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh, it's right. Fall away. Slam. Uh oh. If you're getting a victory like that, you got to be feeling pretty good about yourself. I have a lot of respect for the performance she just gave in this match. She earned this win, no question.